generation to generation, God's inspired word, the Holy Bible, has remained the global bestseller and the most authoritative publication ever. And that's not for nothing. It's undeniable truth, life-transforming influence, indestructible posture, universal appeal and relevance all attest to its divine origin. Now, you can read and study the Bible with so much insight and delight with a new Deeper Life Study Bible published by the Bible Society of Nigeria. The General Secretary of the uh, Bible Society of Nigeria has said he has not seen any Bible like this. That you can say, oh, this other Bible compares with that. It's uh, unique in its uh, presentation. And I also say, looking through, that is really unique. Of course, I've used uh, many study Bibles, but looking at this, I just have to shift. Because this is it. All we need, we'll find here. And I want to recommend it to everyone. Every minister in any church, anywhere, you'll find this very useful. Once again, get a copy. The Deeper Life Study Bible is a complete authentic KJV with very useful study materials that will enhance your understanding and application of God's Word. These include clear-cut Bible doctrines, insightful book introductions, situational Bible helps, robust concordance, read-along references, study notes on holiness and other select topics. Deeper Life Study Bible comes in three genuine leather-bound choice colors of black, silver blue, and burgundy, as well as beautifully bound hardcover. Leather cover, 25,000 Naira. Hardcover, 15,000 Naira. Book your copies ahead. You can get copies from Deeper Life Bookshops, Bible Society of Nigeria Outlets, and leading bookshops. Call. 0802-860-5188 or 0901 <laughs>
Church of the Living God. Well, it's the church triumphant, oh Lord, and it's built by the ends of the Lord. I'm talking about the church, the church of Jesus. It's built on a rock. It's got a firm. It's been through the flood, and it's been through the fire, but one of these days, the church is going to move up higher. It's the church, triumph, oh Lord, oh Lord, and it's been by the hands of the Lord.
unveiling of deeper life at 50. I stand here to the glory of God, with the gracious approval of our beloved dearest students, and in the presence of all of you, distinguished ministers and brethren, to perform what is a most compelling and yet a privileged and pleasurable assignment of introducing two landmark publications of Deeper Christian Life Ministry. First, as a congregation that stands on all the scriptures handed down by God Almighty, the Deeper Christian Life Ministry at 50 has just produced a study Bible that is special in more ways than one. The Deeper Life Bible study is unique for its accompanying contents. This Affinity Bible produced in collaboration with the reputable Bible Society of Nigeria comes with enlightening, inspiring, and helpful introduction to all of his thesis books. It also contains the 22 doctrines on which our ministry stands, all drawn from the Holy Bible. This unique book of the Lord in King James Version contains expository study outlines and holiness. And holiness, one more distinctive of the ministry, it also boasts of a comprehensive concordance, timeliness in the development of Christianity, striking Bible helps, among other enriching content. Second, I am assigned the delightful task of also introducing another unique book, this time, the first detailed historical excursion into the growth of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, DCLM. I can assure you that no other book has attempted like this one to tell the story of this ministry. From its early beginning, through years of tests, toiling and triumph, to its present phenomenon spread around the globe. This book with the title Deeper, Deeper Life, The Pursuit of Heaven's Goal, is a gem and a most read, not just for every minister and members of the church, but everyone that has interest in the development of this church in particular and the growth of the kingdom of God as a whole. It is my pleasure, therefore, to the glory of the Almighty God to invite our beloved Father in the Lord, the general superintendent of the Christian Life Ministry, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, to unveil these two pivotal and historical publications.
Praise the Lord. It's my joy and with great excitement I present to you the book Deep Alive, The Pursuit of Heaven's Goal. And I believe that every one of us here at the service, everywhere in all our churches, in this nation, this continent, and beyond, everywhere in the more than 200 countries where we have our presence now, have a copy. Read it now. Reading it is to inspire you that whatever was found done by the grace of God, the same grace, the same passion, and the same strength you discover in the book, you will have and you'll take the gospel beyond every border in Jesus' name. Our Father in the Lord, Mommy, elders of the church, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, members of Deep Life Bible Church, good morning to our dear Father in the Lord. We, the children of Deep Life Bible Church, all over the world, are grateful to God for your life, your ministry, and your commitment to earnestly contend for the faith which is once delivered unto the saints. Sir, sir, for indeed the great father and shepherd of the flock of Christ, when you look at your life, 
Many of these reminders that children and their dreams are valid. The journey of deeper Christian life ministry and the reality of this day attest to this fact. Dear Father, through your child's story, you have learned perseverance, faith, and resilience. What we have seen today, Jesus, nothing is possible with those who work with God and dare to dream. Thank you, sir, for the inclusion of children in the plans and progress of the church. To our dear mommy, most of your roles may be behind the scene, but we acknowledge your importance to the family of God. Thank you, ma, for your love, your care and support for the ministry of our Father. May the grace of God be multiplied unto you, ma, in Jesus' name. As we celebrate this golden anniversary, we can boldly say that our Father in the Lord is a day the Father of God, the Father of faith. We love you because you are a W, worthy ambassador of Christ. F, faithful minister of the gospel. K, nearly intercessor for both sinners and saints. U, unrelenting proclaimer of the gospel and mentor per excellence. You, uncompromising Christian. Why, you the vessel of the heart of I, inspiration to children of all generations. We promise to continually strive to give you joy and fulfillment in ministry. Thank you so much, sir. We love you. Praise the Lord. That was a wonderful goodwill message from our dear sister representing the Children's Church. And in this session, we'll be taking more goodwill messages from the various arms of the ministries from across the world. We'll be having someone from Europe representing the youth, another person from Europe representing the campus, and we have a representation from the Americas to speak on behalf of the young adults. And then we have one of our mothers to, from Africa to represent the women, and one of our fathers from Asia to represent our fathers of the men. Thank you and God bless. Dear brethren, it is a privilege and a blessing to be among the ransomed, blood-bought saints of God. Warm greetings from Bulgaria and from all youth globally on this occasion of the 50th anniversary of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry under the leadership of our father and grandfather, uh, pa Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. We were extremely encouraged during the Deeper Life's Leadership Strategy Conference in the past few days, and we would like to thank all the faithful workers for their service. We were especially touched by the brethren we got to know during the conference who live and preach the gospel under persecution all around the world. As we celebrate today, let us be reminded to keep our persecuted brethren in our prayers. Holiness without which no man shall see the Lord echoed aloud in ears and reverberated in our hearts. This was how we first got to know the deeper Christian life ministry in Bulgaria. Through faithful preachers in this ministry, we learned that holiness is not a suggestion or a compliment, but a requirement as written in the word of God without which no man shall see the Lord. As the Lord granted us the privilege to be part of this heaven-bound train, we learned that the holiness message, which was largely unpopular among the Christians in the 1970s, was spearheaded by a former university lecturer, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. It is amazing to see that in those 50 years, 
the message is still as fresh and strong as it was at the beginning. Dear brethren, fathers and mothers, I pray and hope that you do the will of God in holiness as a surgeon performs a surgery in perfect cleanliness. This generation is at stake and we are responsible for them. If a surgeon drops an instrument on the floor during operation, it is not to be used no matter how useful it is for the surgery. And if the surgeon gets unclean by accident or intentionally, he is not to continue until he, he gets clean. As we commemorate the Jubilee anniversary of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry today, it is our earnest prayer, if the Lord tarries, that the message of holiness on which this ministry has stood will remain the central theme of pursuit, engagement, and message of all the youths in the church globally. For our father and grandfather in the Lord, we do pray that the Lord will keep you strong and saintly to the end in Jesus' name. Happy anniversary. Dearly beloved, honest church, leaders, fathers, and mothers, thank you for gathering here on this occasion as I stand here before you representing the Defile Life by Campus Fellowship Worldwide. My heart swells with reference and gratitude. Today, we commemorate 50 radiant years of Deeper Christian Life Ministry, a journey edge faith and commitment. Our esteemed general superintendent, sir, whom many of us fondly regard as father of fathers, our grandfather, so has been a steadfast lighthouse in our storms. Your unwavering faith and dedication have ensured that we stay true to our divine mission. Your reach isn't just within our immediate circles. You have touched life in the most distant places, transforming earth and renewing spirits. Your commitment to genuine Christianity has planted seeds that today flourish as mighty oaks of faith. What fails to capture the depth of our gratitude for all you have done? Thank you for giving to the Lord. Under your guidance, our fellowship has become a sanctuary. Campus students worldwide find refuge, direction, and discipleship in our midst. We have been inspired to champion holiness, righteousness, and emulate Christ's love. As we look to the days ahead, our hearts brim with optimism. and bolstered by the vision and the guidance you have provided, sir, with God's benevolence and your continued leadership, I am confident that the best days of the Deeper Christian Life Ministries are yet to come. Thank you very much. Good morning, Church of God. So I bring you greetings from Chicago, USA, and really beyond the USA. So mine is just a voice that reflects the collective and profound appreciation of a generation that has been nurtured by this great work of God we call the Deeper Christian Life Ministry. It's hard to believe that it's been all of 50 years. And so today we gather to celebrate a remarkable milestone in our journey of faith and devotion. With hearts brimming with gratitude and admiration, 
We come together to honor our pastor whose unwavering dedication has touched the lives of countless young people across the globe. He is the original Renaissance man, the first among equals, discipling several generations of saints and servants of God that have gone on to touch many more lives, leading to a, a geometric harvest of souls. He is a man of passion, purpose, prayer, purity, and power, a preacher par excellence and a proclaimer of the everlasting gospel. As we commemorate 50 years of extraordinary ministry, we pause to express our profound appreciation to God for the incredible impact of a life completely yielded and surrendered to the King of glory and the Lord of eternity. So let's take a trip down memory lane and talk about the life of this father of faith and how it's shaped multiple generations across nations. Over the course of five decades, Dr. Kumi has been a guiding light, illuminating the spirituality of the youth of the world. His selfless commitment to nurturing the souls of the next generation has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of those he has touched. Through his inspiring sermons, compassionate counsel, and unique mentorship, Pastor Kumi has empowered young people to navigate the challenges of life with courage and resilience. The impact of our general superintendent's ministry can be witnessed in the transformed lives of countless young people the world over. We've had the privilege of engaging with the life-changing truth that God has used him to declare in all corners of the world and to the ends of the earth. He has instilled in us a deep sense of purpose, helping us to discover our potential and encouraging us through the use of our talents for the greater good. His words have not merely been lessons in theology, but profound teachings that have shaped character, fostered empathy, and ignited a spirit of service. I personally count myself to be blessed among the numbers of those who are vast under the brilliant, burning, and shining light of a life that radiates holiness and points us to the sun of righteousness. And beyond the confines of this, great congregation that we're all privileged to be a part of. Dr. Kumi's influence has extended to every corner of the globe, finding its way through tape and tracks and television to every nook and crannies from our cities, to from Dublin to Dubai, Amsterdam to Australia, from Cairo to Cape Town. His teachings have transcended borders and cultural barriers, resonating with young hearts from diverse backgrounds. Through technology and his unwavering commitment, he has reached young people in remote villages and bustling cities alike, offering them solace, guidance, and the sense of belonging in an ever-changing world. From young professional form in Iowa to campus fellowship in Accra, from schools outreach in Lusaka to new couples fellowship in London, the impact of the frameworks established to help direct the paths of youths, young adults, and working professionals is immense, immeasurable, and indelible. As we reflect on these 50 remarkable years, let us also acknowledge the sacrifices and devotion of his family who have stood steadfastly by his side, enabling him to spread love and wisdom and hope in their unwavering support has been an essential pillar in his ministry allowing our Father and the Lord to dedicate his life to point the sons of men to the Son of God. And so today, with hearts filled with gratitude, we say thank you to our Father and the Lord for your profound impact on the life of young people the world over. Daddy, your ministry has been a beacon of light, guiding us through the storms of this world and inspiring us to be the best version of ourselves to be who God wants us to be. And you've heeded the teaching, you've heeded the call to teach all the nations that make disciples. We will go and do likewise. We will not drop the baton that you've so firmly held faithfully and, and firmly. By the grace of God, we will build upon the foundation of your service and sacrifice of love. 
May your legacy continue to flourish and may your journey ahead be as fulfilling and joyful as the countless life you've touched. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet ye have, many, have not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus, Dr. Kumiyi has begotten us through the gospel. And so to the young and to the young at heart, I implore you to, to give a round of applause and admiration and appreciation as we thank God for the special sacrifice of our founder, our father, the forerunner in faith, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Please rise, be upstanding. Our dear Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumwe. It is with hearts of gratitude we are praising the Lord as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry. We are grateful to God for your life of commitment and consecration and following the vision God has given you over the last 50 years. Your passion for holiness and compassion for souls are exemplary to us all. Deeper life, I believe, is a vision from heaven. And because of this, it has stood the test of time and has broken multicultural barriers. It's also home to all colors, ages, and sexes. I stand here as a testimony to the cross-cultural mission of the ministry under the leadership of our Father in the Lord. And on behalf of our Mother in the Lord, Mommy Esther Kumwe, and all women, of all ages and colors whom your spiritual influence has raised from grass to grace, sir, we are registering our appreciation and saluting your courage and commitment to the Lord and his work. We appreciate the monthly spiritual food you feed us with through the women mirror. We have been richly blessed through the women leadership conferences and audio and visual messages addressing the family and especially our rules as women in our morally decayed world. The deeper life vision has become a global blessing to the homes of the privileged and in the kitchens of the ordinary women in many nations in the world. Sir, may the visionary fire of holiness and soul weaning you have kindled, which we fondly refer to in Arabic as al qadasa wal Quraza, continue to burn in the hearts of many succeeding generations to come in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir, for being always there for us. Praise the Lord. We bring you greetings from all over Asia and, in, and India to our dear Father in the Lord, Pastor, Dr. W. F. Kumai, sir, and to the Deep Alive Bible Church. With our hearts filled gratitude and reverence, we gather to recommemorate the 50th anniversary of Deeper Christian Life Bible Ministry 
This milestone is a testament to the unwavering faith, dedication, and divine guidances that have shaped our journey in the last half a century. As a man within the Deeper Life family, we stand in unity, reflecting on the transformative power of God's unwavering, unchanging word. Over five decades, the Deeper Life Christian, the Deeper Christian Life Ministry has been a place for spiritual birth and growth, a source of enlightenment, and a heaven of true fellowship for millions of individuals. As men, we particularly thank the Lord for the spiritual leadership and mentorship we have received through God's ordained servant, Pastor Dr. W. Kumai. Sir, without you again saying the Lord has used your ministry to help many a man to embrace their roles as spiritual leaders, mentors, and pillars of support in their homes, workplace, and communities. Our commitment to upholding the principles of holiness, righteousness, and fervent prayer has fortified the foundation up upon which our churches stands. As we celebrate this remarkable milestone, we make a solemn commitment to Relentless, relentlessly pursue the achievements of heaven's goals in all the world's continents, countries, and communities. We devote ourselves to the making our actions resonate with the teachings we hold dear and inspire others to seek the light that guides us on, the, on this heavenward journey. Looking ahead, we embrace responsibilities as stewards of faith, ensuring that the flame ignited 50 years ago continue to burn brightly for generations to come. Together we shall stand as a testament to the power of faith and strength of grace and the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. May the undiluted truth that deeper Christian life ministry values continue to shine as a beacon of hope, casting light upon the lives we touch the world we inhabit. Blessed, happy anniversary. Praise the Lord. Give an anniversary, hallelujah. Up next, we welcome our fathers, faithful servant of God, who went from this place to the, to the regions beyond, and they are returning with goodwill messages from Africa, the Americas, Europe, Oceania, and Asia. Happy listening. Praise the Lord. Standing on behalf of Deepal Christian Life Ministry Europe. Passion for souls is what birthed the Deeper Christian Life Ministry, leading our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, to start a Bible study group with 15 members 15 years ago. Today, this consuming fire and passion continues to drive the operation of the ministry and its cross-cultural missionary endeavors. Daddy, you were the very first missionary from the, this church, laboring tirelessly to penetrate cities and villages in Nigeria. The same passion led you to establish mission posts in the other African country, starting with Ghana, and then the rest of the world. Today, Deeper Life has missionary presence in every continent and country in the world, physically or virtually. Moreover, the ministry has reached out to several denominations all over the world, and you have visited 
and feature in mission programs on every continent. The investment on media technology to reach millions is massive, but it's now representing the driving force behind our global crusade and related programs. Daddy, the church in Europe praise God for his hand upon your life and the leaders you have raised by his grace on the member of the church God has built through you and the mission of that same church all over the world. Truly, we can say the stone which the builders refuse is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our eyes. Happy Golden Jubilee, sir. Et nous disons merci de la part de la France et de toute l'Europe. Praise the Lord. I am standing on the behalf of Deeper Christian Life Ministry Africa. The church in Africa is grateful to God who has stirred the Deeper Christian Life Ministry under the leadership of our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. William Kumui for the past 50 years. What started as a gathering of 15 people with a compelling passion for the truth, holiness, and souls has grown into a dynamic ministry with its presence in about 150 countries worldwide. We are bound to glorify God for our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. William Kumui, availing himself to God to be a defender of the faith. Through your first sight and distinctive leadership style, Dedicated and godly workers and leaders have been developed globally. Today, we are celebrating the grace of God in you, our dedicated, indefatigable, and holy servant of God. We pray that your commitment to teaching the whole counsel of God will never diminish in Jesus' name. May we all unitedly continue in word and deed to promote the whole counsel of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Praise the Lord. Give me a global hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Deeper Christian Life Ministry, Asia. We, the members of the Deeper Life family in Asia, wish to celebrate and felicitate with our Father in the Lord the unique apostle of our time, 
on the golden jubilee of the Deeper Christian Life Ministry. Dearly beloved pastor, Dr. W.F. Kumoye, it is not worthy that for the past 50 years, God has endowed you with spirit-giving vision, acumen, matchless grace, and apostolic gifts. This is evident in the global reach to various categories of people in the society, which include children, youths, college students, and young graduates. Your ministry has inspired godliness among women and members of the privileged class. Young professionals have been equipped with success tools, and the rank and file of the armed forces have been fortified with kingdom righteousness. Your exceptional gifts have elevated music and drama as veritable tools for world evangelization. May God continue to strengthen, enlarge your coast, lending your days, help you to keep the flag flying and fulfill your desire of seeing the entire deeper life family in heaven in Jesus' name. If you covet that dream, give me a global amen. amen. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, every good greetings from the Oceania. And for those who may be wondering uh, where in the world is Oceania, uh, those nations that are graciously sitting and floating on the oceans, including Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Island, Fiji Island, and about 20 other Pacific, South Pacific Highland nations. Greetings to the church and to our Father in the Lord. Our hearts are filled with praise to God as the Deeper Christian Life Ministry marks its 50th anniversary. Under the able leadership of our Father and the Lord, the number one member of Deeper Life Bible Church, <laughs> Pastor Dr. William Polonosho Kumuyi, the ministry has made a significant impact in winning souls to Christ all around the globe, as well as maturing saints and developing leaders in profitable service in God's kingdom. In the last five decades, we have witnessed God's unwaning power in the ministry of Pastor William Kumoyi as he preaches the undiluted word with signs and wonders following, and that through various means of the gospel campaign, village outreaches, city-wide crusade, African-wide crusade, and now the global crusade with Kumuyi. As we reflect over these 50 years of ministry, we cannot but thank the Lord for the diverse testimonies of salvation and transformation of lives, deliverances and healing, raising of the dead, and many more testimonies that we find around us. 
as we look forward, the church in the Oceania trusts that God, for, that there will be greater years of fruitfulness, impact, and increase in all aspects in Jesus' name. It, it is our earnest prayer that the Lord, who had brought our Father in the Lord this far, will strengthen him to finish well. And he will finish strong in Jesus' name. May the grace and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ never depart from you, sir. Happy 50th anniversary. Praise the Lord. I guess somebody has to wake up. I said, Praise the Lord. Amen. Congratulations, Deeper Life Bible Church. Congratulations, Deeper Christian Life Ministry. Congratulations on your 50th anniversary. And I bring you special greetings from the Americas to our father, our beloved pastor, <laughs> at the 50th anniversary of the Pakistan Life Ministry. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. One of the several areas the Deeper Christian Life Ministry has excelled under the general superintendent, our beloved pastor, W.F. Kumuyi, is literature evangelism. From the onset, the ministry's publications have impacted the lives of readers who in response showed their love for the depth of truth the publications portrayed. For Deeper Life members in the diaspora, these impactful spiritual resources have helped to shape and entrench a spiritual root that began under the general superintendent's spiritual tutelage. These materials have served as analysis of deeper life has in a decadent world destitute of godly bearing. As we celebrate our 50th anniversary, the church in the Americas praises God for the life of our general superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, for his tireless and relentless pursuit of quality literature for the ministry and for our patrons. Today, the ministry's printing and publishing company, The Life Press, is thriving by the grace of God. A stable of literature of offerings ranging from the Sage the Scripture and the House Fellowship booklets for various ages and groups to other publications like Life Magazine, Women Mirror, uh, Enduring Believers Worldwide to, uh, uh, to the study of the Holy Bible. We owe a debt of gratitude to the man behind the vision. May God continue to preserve and bless the legacy of his servant and the church that he leads. Happy 50th anniversary to all Deeper Life lifers worldwide. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. 
on behalf of Deeper Christian Life Ministry in Nigeria, I have the privilege to present this goodwill message. Glory and honor be unto our gracious and glorious Lord for his unfailing love and faithfulness towards the Deeper Christian Life Ministry we started on 3rd August 1973 with 15 people at Flat 2, Faculty of Education Campus, University of Lagos, Akoka, Yaba, and as today, burgeoned, grown, expanded to almost 150 countries of the world. Sir, your undying commitment and steadfast resolve to not only stand on, but fearlessly declare the undiluted message of holiness and righteousness despite the world's aversion has distinguished the deeper life as a true church of the living God. The church in Nigeria is also very grateful unto God who has given us a selfless leader, a loving shepherd, a studious Bible teacher, and a resilient soldier of the cross as our pastor a mentor. As we bask in the euphoria of the grace God has lavished on this ministry these 50 years, we are grateful to God for making us direct beneficiaries of your impactful life and teaching. We are the fruits and evidence of your labor of love. Thank you, sir. May the Lord daily renew your strength and power for more fruitful and dynamic ministry in the years ahead. May we all, ministers and members, continue to serve our good Lord unitedly and zealously unto the end. May our good Lord help Deeper Christian Life Ministry to continue fulfilling the purpose for which it was established in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Sir. You can do better than that. Jubilee applause to the Lord Jesus. Amen. We take more goodwill messages from leaders of other ministries represented here. Thank you and God bless. On behalf of the Association of Evangelicals in Africa, AEA, the, and in particular the southern region of AEA over which I preside as regional president, the Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia that I also preside as chair, I bring hearty congratulations to you all, my brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ, on this, your 50th anniversary of Deeper Christian Life Ministry. And to God alone be all the glory for his faithfulness 
in sustaining this work which he himself began in 1973, as we have heard repeatedly. I have not heard to the contrary, but that the Deeper Life Bible Church was a, the largest single local church on the continent of Africa and the most influential too. Permit me to say our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, has an left an indelible mark on the African church through his exemplary lifestyle, teachings, and his writings. Thank you, Deeper Life, I beg your pardon, Deeper Christian Life Ministry for sharing this servant of God with us all. And when I call him Father, it provokes me to say a big thank you to his biological sons and Mama Esther too, who have had to sacrificially share him with us, the rest of us in the global church. Unfortunately, Africa is notoriously known for its failure to acknowledge and appreciate heroes God has powerfully used in our continent and globally. My first contact to the Pastor Kumui was through his writings. Since then, we have physically met several times in the Sadek region and in Zambia, my country, as well as here in Lagos. It's a privilege to be the GS guest even this time around. This privilege I shall treasure in my life as I can attest to the fact that my, my father, Pastor Kumui, has for the most part of my life impacted my personal life more than anyone else I have ever known. And he is one man that I know who practices everything he preaches. And with what I said at the beginning, this being a single largest local church, yet Pastor Kumui, in his exemplary humility, as an apostle, Paul would say, with every reason for me to boast, I think he has reason to boast, a qualified person, but never shows off in the regard, and never refers to his church as being the largest on the continent of Africa, he never is ostentatious in his dressing and where he lives, what car he drives, nor does he own a plane, although he could afford one. He has no train of bodyguards and other carrying by his Bible. He is a holy man of God with an equal integrity and moral uprightness. Dr. Kumui has taught the word of God without compromising many and far beyond the denomination of Deeper Life Bible Church or Deeper Christian Life Ministry. He's one of the best Bible expositors I've ever met. His, his style of sermon delivery is uh, a wonder. He connects thoughts from a single alphabetical letter or even picks a word and develops it into a theme 
Pastor Kumui never repeats a sermon. Every time I've heard him, it is a new message, and it's always new and different message. We thank God, our Heavenly Father, for the gift he gave us on the continent of Africa and the church globally in Pastor Kumui and the deeper life, deeper Christian life ministry. Congratulations, General Superintendent. Congratulations, Deeper Christian Life Ministry. May the Lord God Almighty grant you many more years as we still need that voice on the African continent, if not all, the globe. Before I sit down, I think I'll be failing in my duty if I do not appreciate the gesture by the Deeper Life Church, who have not only invited us, myself and some many others, to this celebration, but they sponsored our way up here. They have graciously fed us, met our, min our own, all our needs, and transportation locally. For this, we shall remain indebted to you. Thank you so very much, and be blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am Bishop Dr. Charles Aban, the president of the International Clergy Association Incorporated. I want to thank God for this privilege given unto me. Amen. I wish to congratulate the Deeper Life Christian ministry on attaining 50 years and her founder and generous protected pastor Dr. W. F. Kumi for his unbroken service to the body of Christ. Let us take this precious moment to thank our Father in heaven for the grace he has bestowed on the ministry as we celebrate this important milestone. It is our earnest prayer that God continues to expand the ministry and bless Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi with many more years of fruitful and rewarding service. May God continue to strengthen him and give us the courage to always stand with him. By the grace of God, the International Clergy Association Incorporated pledges to stand on the truth Pastor Dr. Kumi stands for. Thank you, Papa. And may God bless you. Long live global crusade for Kumuyi. I say, long live the deeper Christian life ministry. And long live International Clergy Association Incorporated. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. Well, hello, Dr. Pastor William Kumuyi. 
It is, uh, this is Joel here uh, in Maryland, and uh, actually we're in South Carolina now. Just uh, want to thank you so much for uh, your, your uh, faithfulness over the years. 50 years of ministry to Deeper Life, it's, it's just astonishing on one level, uh, on many levels, I should say. I remember back in 2001, we met at a place called Rip's Restaurant in Bowie, Maryland with Don Crow. And uh, at the end of our lunch together, you, uh, you then said, how would you like to come and speak at one of our summer, uh, I think you had four at the time, uh, four events, about uh, 40 to 50,000 people coming out to the campground. And how would you like to come out? And I, I just thought, sure, okay. <laughs> Not realizing how, uh, how careful you are uh, I guess I, I realized later that um, what an honor it was for you to even invite me to come out to speak. And I, I hope that it was uh, uh, a time of uh, refreshing and uh, a blessing and, and people uh, sense God's presence because that's what it's all about uh, while there. And uh, anyway, I just want to thank you so much for all that you do for so many. I know you've been through some ups and downs and all arounds over the years and uh, God has been faithful and uh, like the scripture says it is required of a steward to be found faithful <clears throat> and you have been a very faithful steward over the years and uh, may you continue to uh, prosper to be in good health and continue to preach and teach and encourage and love the way you have all these 50 plus years thanks again for the great opportunity God bless you all, everyone who's watching this. Amen. With the kind permission of our, our Father in the Lord, I'd like to give a special and warm welcome and recognition to all the leaders of other ministries here present or represented. May you please kindly stand up for recognition wherever you are seated. Leaders of other ministries present. Thank you, God bless you. Church, make them feel welcome. We are not praise you. We lift your name, Aya. Thank you for this celebration today. Thank you so much, Lord, for this golden jubilee. Thank you for our, the milestone that we have reached as a church, as a denomination. Thank you for our Father in the Lord. Thank you for the consistency, the persistency, the doggedness, the ruggedness, and Lord, the, the firmness of your servant. Thank you, Lord, for his impact upon our lives, his impact upon everyone. Spirits of the living God, I'm asking and praying that even tonight, as we begin now, your spirits will complete total and entire control. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we have At this time, I want to begin to give thanks to God. Blessings and glory. Blessings and honor and glory and praise. And glory and praise. And glory and praise. Blessings and honor and glory and praise. Be unto Christ. It seems to have GS message is still on. I thought we have started. Please, somebody should reply me. I'm, it's like I'm talking to him. Hello? Hello. You okay. can continue. Okay. So we want to give thanks to God. 
and honor his holy name, worship him, exalt him, praise him, uplift his holy name. I want to magnify him for what he is, for what he's been doing in our lives. I want to thank him for how much he has helped the church. And thus far, he has brought us to the platform where we are today and we are being celebrated all over the world. Let's thank the Lord for that. Let's praise the Lord for that. Let's honor the Lord for that. Let's give thanks to the Trion deity. Let's lift his name higher. Let's worship him in the beauty of holiness. Let's worship him in the beauty of holiness. Let's worship him tonight. Yes. See the way he has blessed us. See the way he had visited us. See the way he had touched us. See the way he had imparted us. To be chuku, he has done it for us. Yes, see the way he answers our prayer. See the way he intervened in our family for our Monday prayer. See the way he fought our battle as we call upon him day in, day out. As we reach out to him. Let's honor him for the various prayer requests that have been raised on this platform and that have received answer. Shall we not thank him how the Lord started this very platform? We got servants and some other persons. And how much God has used this platform to be of tremendous blessing and benefit to many all over the world. Let's thank the Lord for charity, though small but mighty. Though a small church, but God had been using that small church to be of great blessing to many lives in different parts of the world. Let's thank the Lord for the church at charity. Let's honor the Lord for the angel of the church, Pastor Matthew. Let's thank the Lord for his commitment. Let's thank the Lord for his devotion. Give him praise, give him honor, and give him adoration. God is good. God is great. He's wonderful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're giving Amen. thanks to God, worshiping God, praising the name of the Lord once again for the YouTube, Charlotte YouTube, Pastor Akamu, Matthew YouTube, our lives have been blessed through that YouTube. Recently, I had to visit the YouTube again. And then, uh, okay, I think I was looking, either I, was, I browsed it or I checked it or I, was, I typed a message.